Hello and welcome to It's Your Business with Mario Tanaguzzi on Megapix Media. Joining me today is Pierre Clairou, who is the Chief Economist for the Business Development Bank of Canada. Thanks for joining us today, Pierre. Hi, Mario. Hi. So the BDC uh, has uh, conducted a survey of Alberta and Saskatchewan uh, business owners. Um, let me just ask you, first of all, um, in, you know, we'll, we'll have our discussion about Alberta in particular, but what has been the biggest challenges that Alberta businesses have faced for the last six months? Basically is on the demand side. And, um, you know, we, uh, we all know the economy was closed for, for a few months, so the economy is reopened now, but um, it, people are facing lo lower demand for their products and services. And that's really the biggest issue for Alberta businesses. Okay. Now, when you look at uh, areas of opportunity, uh, what would you say the areas of opportunity are in Alberta right now? Well, I would say two things. The first is our research is showing that businesses who are more diversified, they are, they are performing better. They perform better before the pandemic, but they also perform better during the pandemic. So, so businesses who have um, a more diversified market, for example, selling outside the country or be present in more than one market in Canada or in more than one city or having different line of products serving more than one sector, these businesses are performing better. The second point uh, we realize is um, there's a strong uh, growth in terms of the online business. Uh, you know, Canadians have been shopping online more. Actually, the number of sales online has doubled since February. Uh, there's two reasons for that. Well, the economy was, was under lockdown for a while, so people didn't have a choice. But it's actually more than that. They, they like buying online because it's safe. You don't have to go to a restaurant, to a store, or shopping mall. They like the fact that they stay home and they buy online. So businesses who have been present online, they perform better during the pandemic. And we believe that this trend is going to accelerate at, at the end of all this. So businesses who are present online, they perform better. Let's take a look, a look uh, Pierre, at the... Um general economy in Alberta right now. I think most uh, forecasts out there are, are predicting, well, obviously a recession, but but somewhere in the 7 to 10% range, I've seen different numbers, and it's usually Alberta is either the worst or second worst behind uh, Newfoundland and Labrador. Um, what's your sense of uh, the economy this year in Alberta and, and how it will end up? Well, it's, it's a difficult year, and uh, the difference between Alberta and, for example, Ontario is that there's a double hit in Alberta. This is the pandemic that covers the entire country, but also the fact that the ore price is lower than what it should be, uh, it's also having an impact. Um, you know, the world demand for oil is down by 10%. So that's the reason why the price is down. And it's going to take some time before the oil price goes back to the pre-crisis level and allow investment, allow more economic activities, more drilling. So this is, this is the reason why it's taking a bit more time. So far, the Alberta economy is back at 93% of the level of February. So the initial recovery has been quite solid, actually. It's just quite good. But the next 7% is going to take a bit more time. So it's going to be the, the rest of the recovery is going to be at a slower pace. Uh, we don't expect the economy of Alberta going back to normal before probably mid-2022. Okay. Um, when you look at uh, the levels of optimism, uh, um, or I guess maybe pessimism uh, for uh, business owners. What can you say about that? Like, how are they feeling? What's their, their mood right now? Well, the mood is uh, not that good. Uh, only a third of uh, uh, Alberta businesses are optimistic about this year. Um, and you won't be surprised, the lowest level of uh, optimism is in 
the oil sector. So this is not, mm -hmm. this is not surprising. So it's going to be a tough year as the world economy is improving, the oil price is going to improve and that will help the Alberta economy. So 2021 will be better and more that we get out of this uh, difficult period of time is going to improve. Okay, so we've talked about um, diversification of the economy for a number of years here in Alberta. What are the biggest challenges to, uh, to that? Uh, you know, what are the biggest challenges to actually going from thinking and, and, and wanting to do it to actually doing it? I think it's the perception. I think the perception in the past, you know, the economy of Alberta has, has performed so well. And the main driver was, uh, was this, the oil sector. So I think a lot of entrepreneurs are still believe that this is going to go back to, the, to, to normal at one point. Mm -hmm. I think the new normal is going to be a little bit different. There's a lot, there's a, you know, the world demand for oil is not increasing as rapidly as in the past. And there's a lot of supply around the world, which should keep the price lower than what we would like or what we saw in the past. So I think people have to realize that, uh, you know, the oil sector is important for Alberta. It's, it's going to remain important, but the growth in this sector is not going to be like in the past. So as a business, you have to realize that and you really have to diversify your business. It's, uh, too many businesses depend too much on one sector. So there's opportunities in other sectors. For example, the tech sector is really growing rapidly. Right. Or, so it's important for people to understand that the next 10 years are not going to be like the last 10 years. So we have to do something about it. Yeah, okay, great then. Well, thanks very much, uh, Pierre, for joining us today. Thank you. Okay, that was Pierre Clairoux, who is the Chief Economist for the Business Development Bank of Canada. This has been It's Your Business with Mario Tonaguzzi on Megapix Media. Thanks for joining us today.